In the following, we present our work on learning to fly in seconds. We show that after training on a consumer grade laptop for just 18 seconds using deep reinforcement learning, we can directly transfer end to end control policies to real quadrators. The trained end to end control policies generalize to a multitude of downstream tasks like trajectory tracking. One of the most common tasks for quadrators is position control. Starting from an arbitrary initial state, the controller is supposed to fly the vehicle to an arbitrary position. Classically, the large delay in the transfer function and strong nonlinearities are tackled by cascading multiple PID controllers, which each provide the set points for the next lower level ones. Each of these controllers contain parameters that have to be tuned. In our work, we replace this cascade of controllers with an end to end policy in the form of a neural network that directly maps states to motor commands in the form of PWN outputs. To train the end to end control policy, we devise a novel reinforcement learning pipeline that requires far less environment interactions or samples and is significantly more reliable at the same time. A great challenge is posed by the large motor delays of our target quadrator platform, the Crazyfly. The RPMs cannot be measured directly on the real device, hence we propose an asymmetric actor-critic scheme. Because the critic is only required during training in simulation, we can provide it with the ground truth RPMs. To account for the partial observability, we provide the actor with an action history. For inference, we directly deploy the trained end-to-end -end control policy onto the microcontroller of the quadrator. In the following, we show the full, uncut process from training from scratch in simulation over compiling the train policy into the firmware to flashing the firmware and flying. In the beginning, the quadrotors crash all the time, but after only a few seconds, they start to learn to fly. After about 300,000 total environment steps, we reliably find end-to-end -end control policies that work on the real quadrotor without cherry-picking random seeds. After training, we copy the weights of the policy into the firmware of the quadrotor. We then compile and flash the firmware onto the real Crazyfly. Interestingly, flashing the firmware takes far longer than the entire training process. After the flashing is completed, we give the policy the signal to take off and hover. In this case, we are only using onboard sensing based on optical flow. While the policies after 18 seconds of training are reliable, we observe better performance when training for longer, for example after up to 3 million steps. We also find that these policies are particularly robust against disturbances. Even though we train a position controller in simulation, we find that the trained end-to-end -end policies generalize to other tasks like trajectory tracking. In this example, we task the policy with tracking a moderately fast figure eight with an interval of 5.5 seconds. In this example, we increase the speed of the figure eight trajectory for a cycle time of only 3.5 seconds. Our policy reliably tracks the trajectory, but the tracking error increases. Our policy reaches up to 3 meters per second and comes close to the limit of the dynamical capabilities of the Crazyfly. Furthermore, we also evaluate how the trained end-to-end -end policy copes with disturbances like strong, turbulent wind. We find that our policies are surprisingly robust given that they have no memory like for example a PID or SO3 controller with an integral term.